Avid anime fans have tried to learn to live with the reality of one consistent theme throughout just about every single show. From Angel Beats to Full Metal Alchemist, death is often the main theme. The creators of this particular entertainment medium seem to be competing with each other on who can come up with the most unusual modes of violence and the saddest possible death scenes. And many of those intensely heartbreaking deaths have been accompanied by an equally somber funeral, as in the case of Full Metal Alchemist's Maya's Hughes. And the fact is that anime deaths are responsible for not only changing the way that other characters on the show live their lives and envision their ultimate futures, but in some ways they also had a tendency toward making some viewers see just how important the relationships in their lives can be, and how everything in life can change in an instant. Welcome to our channel. Here we bring you the list of top 10 saddest anime deaths. Before you continue, please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for regular updates. Number 10 is Otanashi, Angel Beats. When Otanashi loses his sister, who happens to have been the final living member of his family, he starts falling into despair. It looks like he's going to simply live the rest of his life with no real goal for his future, stuck in a dead-end job. But instead, he starts studying and pursuing a medical career in her memory. He wants to make sure that, if he's ever found, his body parts can help someone else in need. This beautiful selfless act inspires other people who are trapped in the cave to follow suit. At the same time, they can hear rescuers drilling into the cave to save them. Many of them survive, however, Otanashi isn't one of them. In true anime death fashion, he passes away just as the rescuers get the cave opened up. Number 9 is Shirley Code, Geiss. Shirley discovers all of the memories that she had ever been forced to forget at her protagonist's hand, as well as the fact that she was ultimately responsible for her father's death. She's still prepared, however, for the task of understanding and supporting him. Unfortunately, a very jealous Rolo decides to take her life, because the possibility of someone else having our Code Geiss hero, Lelouch, is simply too unbearable. Therefore, an exceptionally heartbreaking scene shows Lelouch finding Shirley bleeding to death on the floor. He wants desperately to be able to command her to stay alive, but she comes to the realization that she has only a few moments left for spending with him. She proceeds to tell him everything she knows and how she also is well aware that, even if it were to be in another life, she would undoubtedly still end up falling hopelessly in love with him over and over again. Number 8 is Ushio, Clanned. So, we got a grip and came to terms with Tomoyo raising little Ushio. She's only a small child living with the understanding that she's unwell. However, she is expecting to be healed. Meanwhile, Tomoya is trying desperately to keep looking forward and making something out of this terrible situation. But following many days stuck inside their apartment, all she really wants is a chance to go outside and take a trip with Daddy like before she took sick. She's also losing every bit of her remaining strength, so Tomoya becomes painfully aware of this harsh reality and knows there's absolutely nothing he can do other than trying to make her happy just one more time. So, they end up going outside and start moving slower and slower every minute. Then, she collapses in her daddy's arms and says her last four words, which are, I love you, Papa. Number 7 is Kamina Tengen, Tapa Gurin Lagan. After suffering serious injuries in a battle against the enemy fleet, Kamina just keeps going, only stopping to rest after the battle has ended. Viewers naturally assume that he would be healed and get better, so his death was quite unexpected. He is, after all, one of the series' main characters. And even more importantly, hadn't he recently promised love and eternal happiness to Yoko? Well, in spite of all that, he died, forever changing the entire atmosphere of the series. As loyal viewers and fans of anime, we have had to learn that the creators definitely aren't afraid to kill off a beloved character, and then see just how the remaining characters deal with the big hole they leave in their lives. Number 6 is Maze Hughes, Full Metal Alchemist. This character was a loving husband and father who gets marked for death after he digs just a little too deep into a humunculi investigation. He ends up being murdered by a shapeshifter named Envy, who got close to him by shifting to look like Hugh's wife before attacking. Needless to say, his untimely death was difficult for viewers to watch, but then, to add insult to injury, it just became more and more painful by the minute. 
During his funeral, his young daughter wasn't able to understand why they were burying Daddy and throwing dirt on him when what he really needed to do was go to work. It was heartrending and truly tear-jerking for viewers who are haunted to this day by his death. Number 5 is Satsuko, Grave of the Fireflies. This is a devastating commentary on the high cost of war and human lives, and it follows a teenager named Saita who is taking care of his little sister, Satsuko. When a World War II American firebombing finds the two children separated from their parents, their tale of survival becomes just as heartbreaking as a story can possibly be. They are completely reliant on each other while struggling against all odds to stay alive together. This anime is so sad that even the well-known critic Roger Ebert admitted that it moved him to tears. This is a truly memorable anime film, and it's based on actual events. The two children's mother is horribly wounded and dies, and they get sick and die a slow death as well. They do, however, have a really tender and amazing reunion in the afterlife. Number 4 is Himura Kenshin, Rurouni Kenshin. Kyoto Taiki Hen Kenshin is an anime character who is always wandering the Japanese countryside to offer his aid and protection to people in need. His motivation is to atone for all of the murders that he committed back when he was an assassin. When he goes to Tokyo, he ends up meeting a lovely young woman named Kamiya Koru and is invited to live with her. She knows all about his past but falls in love with him anyway. He continues throughout the series with establishing many lifelong relationships and some of them are with former enemies. He later contracts an unknown fatal disease that is similar to leprosy. Kamiya wants to share her lover's pain and convinces him to give her the disease by having sex with her. And, in true anime style, everybody dies. Number 3 is Spike Spiegel, Cowboy Bebop. As the protagonist in Cowboy Bebop, Spike Spiegel won first place in the category of a male character in 1998 and 1999 Anime Grand Prix. Viewers and avid Cowboy Bebop fans all felt that his death was not only one of the saddest, but also one of the most amazing endings ever in anime. The general consensus about Cowboy Bebop is that the characters, especially Spike Spiegel, were truly phenomenal, and that this particular show always made them feel like they were members of the crew on this very deep show. That being said, there has been a great deal of controversy among fans regarding whether Spike officially died in the ending of Cowboy Bebop or not. Let's face it, in anime, when you say, bang, and the character falls down, it doesn't necessarily mean they're dead. Some fans like to think that maybe he just lost consciousness. But frankly, when he falls over during the final scene, panning up to the sky and a star fading out, pretty well seals his fate. Number 2 is Menma Anahana. In spite of the fact that it became rather obvious that Menma was dead right from the start of the show, the entire series still struck fans as being pretty sad, especially when she tried so hard and managed to make the best of her terrible situation. Fans knew deep down that everything wasn't going to get better miraculously, but her plight of not being able to be with all of her friends anymore didn't dawn on most viewers until the beginning of the last episode. But in the end, she's leaving on a good note when she allows those friends to go on with their respective lives and not look back on the bad memories, but think happy thoughts of her to make them stronger. Number 1 is Nicholas D. Wolfwood, Trigon. Wolfwood spent his entire life doing whatever he could for keeping children from having to suffer the way that he did when he was a child, even killing for their sake. Unfortunately, he dies with many regrets. He sustains multiple injuries and collapses in a church, reflecting on his many sins and regrets. His final words are that he didn't want to die that way. As his eyes slowly close in death, his hand dramatically drops to the ground. He lived his life being many things to many people. He was an assassin as well as a priest. But he was most of all a good man with a huge heart and seeing him die filled with so many regrets had fans sobbing uncontrollably. Hope you really enjoyed this video, but feel free to tell us which anime death makes you feel most sad.